Wow, it's Terrence Gangster Williams, aka OG Giggity. We're gonna talk about the St. Thomas Project, Tent War. The St. Thomas Project has been known to go to war with the Magnolia Project and people with inside their own project. St. Thomas has been known to have money makers and gunslingers and some nice females to come up out that out that Thomas. When I first saw some boys at the St. Thomas in action was in 1992. They came in that magnolia slinging that stuff. I'm talking about it was working. I never seen the St. Thomas back down from a war. The St. Thomas Project is one of the darkest projects. At night, it's like they just shot up all the lights out of, out of, out of Thomas. It'd be real dark back then at St. Thomas. So I see like when people post and talk about 1996 St. Thomas Wars. But then I say... That was child's play compared to the 80s and the early 90s. When you had them boys not playing out that St. Thomas. And I remember the 96 uh, incident uh, with the cutthroat posse, with the U-Haul. And I remember them boys at the Night War. In the uh, late 80s, early 90s, with the U-Haul game. Even Feel I Feel rapped about his homeboys with the U-Haul. So, uh, that's just a little history right there. A little history lesson. Because, you know, a lot of people think that that started there when that didn't start there. So, anyway, um, the St. Thomas had always been known, uh, you know, to get down. One of my uh, best friends named Toto was killed in the St. Thomas. Toto come up in a game when he was like 13 years old, ran off in the hallway, um, robbed the guy. And um, someone caught him. It hit him up. He survived that attack. Went to juvenile jail. Came home. He come home in 96. He come home in 1996 and was killed not too far from, far from his auntie's house. I think it's Annunciation Street, not sure. By some guys he come up with in a project, scared, thinking he gonna rob them or something because Toto was young and wild. Come home, still, you know, about that gangster life, but he was slowly, you know, coming about the game because he had not been, a, he had not ran with a, a bunch of the, uh, gangsters like Levi, Tony D, Back in the day, when he was a teenager. So now that he's in his 20s, you know, he's getting on his grown man stuff. They spooky thinking, because, you know, Toe was one of the ones. He was like a one-man only. He going he gonna to roll by himself, you know. And um, he was back there enjoying himself, hiding at family members, and they just stole him for no reason. Just, just went on and hit him up, thinking he might try them. And they all come up. Someone was older than him, but they plotted against him just out of fear. Then you had homies beefing with one another, and around September, and then in November of 96, it was a crucial shooting where a guy was killed in front of witness in broad daylight. St. Thomas been known to get money. St. Tom Project produced one, not the one of the best rappers to come out of the city, uh, Hitman. It's a bad boy. And then they also, I got to give him his prop to they had Jubilee that come up out there, Thomas, because it was a lot of them old pee poppers. <laughs> That's what B2B got there from shaking his butt. Uh, 
he didn't pop himself in a wheelchair. Wow. But anyway, um, yeah, man, so they had a few girls that uh well, a good bit of females to come out that Thomas, you know, that was about their business. Bad bras, getting money, you know, you know, they had their little crew that they ran with. I don't wanna call no name because they older now. But um yeah, the St. Thomas was always known for getting money, riding nice, going to war, and not playing the radio. St. Thomas Project also know OG Giggity. They know who OG Giggity is too, though. Ain't too many people in that city don't know. Cause I done had my runs in with them too. But one thing I gotta give it to you, though, they never was one of the ones to back down. They always one of the ones you come playing with me, I'm trying to see about you too. So I remember I was gonna throw a cross one time when the St. Thomas Project got into it with the Calio Project in the in the uh in a in the uh, concert. One of the big dogs had, had they had a fight and he he lost his he dropped his Rolex watch or something. I think he got it back though. But when they had that little game fight in that concert, that was my cue right there to go to the yo. And just that same night, just hit it up. I didn't want to hit nobody. I wasn't tripping off that. Just go hit it up. Then I want to go to St. Thomas to hit it up because I needed that water jump off now. Because them St. Thomas boy was just, they was known. Once they go down, they was coming. They they ain't really, they, 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 they wasn't going to just really just let you think you want to just run over them. But I started to go shoot that cross. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I started to go shoot that cross, but I didn't. I ain't shoot the cross, you know. I I just I I left it alone because I didn't feel like riding back and forward doing that. But I ain't gonna lie, I was in that Magnolia plotting and planning on him. I said this would be a perfect time for the Tent Ward and that Kelly project to go to war right after they had that fight. And I'm wondering why they never why 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 I stopped right there because they got into it with some big dogs. And, and and but I guess they didn't feel like riding up Martin Luther King. That was a too far ride to go try to, whatever, man. But I sure wanted to go in and and, and put some fire to that, that 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 little smoke that they had started. I wanted to let that thing flame. So I needed them boys to be so they could go it on and get some of the more Calio boys on out my way, and then get some of the more tent wall boys. I sure started to go back there, but I didn't do it. I gave them a pass. But I sure started to get on some cutthroat stuff and go do it, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to come through because I see the world. Um, like to know what happened back in the days with the New Orleans um, guys and people that is either in prison now or they're dead or they just retired. Um, but I will see they hold a lot of memories. Y'all know the motto, say no to drug, let's stop the violence, let's put these guns down. At risk, you need us. So all of the guys that are still out, that's on, want to do something that's right, let's reach out and help these children. Um, I have a non-profit organization called They Need Us. I've been reaching out to a lot of the shelters. It's a lot of families in these shelters that need help. A lot of children in these shelters that need help, man, you'll be surprised. You think you're going to see one or two families. You see mother, her daughter, and her daughter in the shelter together. They need help. So, y'all, you know, have a few extra dollars in your pocket and, you know, just walk around, want to pull out your knot and show off front of your friend or making it rain, wherever you're making it rain at. Save a, save a few of those raindrops for the people that really need it, man. All it takes is one T-shirt, one pair of socks, and you see, you can see, you can see the excitement in these young children's face. You can see it for them to get one T-shirt. I'm not talking about two, three, four T-shirts or two, three, four pair of socks or one blanket. I mean, not no two, three, four blankets, one blanket. And they're happy to get that. They are very happy to get whatever they can get. It's not something somebody told me. It's not something I heard or whatever the case may be through the grapevine. 
is something I am experiencing. I am really, really experiencing that these people are very happy to receive something they could put on and also for someone just to come around to the show, to the show love, it lets them know that there is someone else that cares, that love them, you know, that's that's here for them. So whoever want to help out, reach out, or you can do something on your own. Just go up, just go pick a shelter, go around there, you'll see for yourself. See, a lot of us like to get on the internet and show off our new shoes, new cars, new clothes, and see we looking out for the hood. It's, you know the thing I like that is families that are in the shelters that, that didn't give up on their children because you know you got some people that will give their children away or just give up and be like alright I, I I can't take care of you I'm just do this or some will run to drugs but these are family members that are trying and they're just trying to get help and they need help so if you can help out help out like I say say no to drugs stop the violence put the guns down much love them out why